Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, so you are watching Victoria Vogue on the Queen Chat. Let's get started. Now, uh, today's, well, not today's, this week's, say, say this week's. This week's challenge was suggested by Heidi, and her suggestion was that we paint a friend's face. So we, you know, we do makeup on somebody else's mug. I have a little confession to make. I don't actually have any friends. All of my friends are, are on the internet. You guys are my friends. So I didn't really have anyone that I could paint on. Therefore, I went ahead and printed my own friend. Isn't she just so gorgeous? Well, she's not gorgeous yet because she doesn't have any makeup on her, but I am about to rectify that situation. Oh, uh, Heidi, if you are watching, you must be so pissed at me right now because I am not taking this challenge seriously. <laughs> now, the first thing that occurs to me is that my little friend here doesn't really need any foundation or powder because she's already got beautiful white skin, geisha face club kid baby. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is draw on some eyebrows and I am using a little MAC angled brush. This is actually the only MAC product that I own, which a lot of people find very hard to believe, but I don't use MAC makeup, so there you go. Oh yes, these eyebrows are fierce, Miss Honey. See, I'm trying to use some American drag slang when I make these videos these days. I would normally never say that something looked fierce or call anyone Miss Honey, but all the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race do it, so I suppose I had better do it as well. These eyebrows are not even at all. One of them is sort of cocked in the air like that, but you know what they say about eyebrows? They are sisters, not twins, so this is okay. Okay, uh, next I am going to do a little eyeshadow. Now I have, I have a really cheap eyeshadow palette here. I bought it from a store called Gloss. I don't know if you have that in the States. Uh, I use this all the time. It's 26, 25, 26 different colours, and obviously the white and the cream ran out first because every drag queen uses... This is filthy dirty. <laughs> I'm using the same brushes that I used for my makeup this evening, so... Whoop! And I'm dropping them. Okay. As I was saying, I'm using the same brushes that I used for my makeup this evening, so they're still... They're still dirty. I'm really bad at cleaning my brushes. I never do it. Okay, what colour am I going to give Miss Honey? I'm going to use that blue at the top right there. I think that's a gorgeous colour. And because I'm putting it on paper and not a person, I am really having to grind it in. This is proving more difficult than I thought it would. I probably should have just gone out and found a random person on the street and offered to do their makeup. Heidi, if you're watching this, and I know you are, because I know you watch all our videos, I really hope you're not angry at me that I'm not doing this properly. Come on, I was always going to take the piss out of this. I was never going to do it seriously. <sighs> okay, that is enough eyeshadow. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to clean off that. This is a roll of toilet tissue, by the way. I do have makeup cleaning stuff somewhere, but... Well, if you could see this flat that I live in, you would understand why I can't find it. I'm going to add a little bit of pink as well, just as a... Oh good, it barely shows up. A couple of friends of mine have done makeup courses, uh, you know, to be qualified makeup technicians, professionals, whatever, and they tell me that when they do assessments, they actually have to, they've shown me too, they actually have to plot out the makeup that they're doing on a sheet of paper with a, an outline of a face, and I am beginning to appreciate just how difficult that must be because this makeup is not this makeup is not going well onto the paper she's looking like such a diva i don't know why i didn't do my makeup exactly like this incidentally everyone who's watching when was the last time you sat down and just did some arts and crafts really i can't remember the last time i had a really good craft afternoon i need to set an afternoon aside and get some finger painting in or do some finger knitting or something. It's all about fingers. That's absolutely stunning. So now I am going to, oh, I am going to go in with my Coastal Scents blush and contour palette and I'm going to give Miss Honey here, if I can open it, oh there we go, I'm going to give Miss Honey a little rosy blush because it's all about the blush. The only thing I can compare this to is working with pastels, like proper pastel things. I have some somewhere. I have no idea where. Again, if you lived in my little flat, then you would appreciate why I can never find anything. I was lucky to find this wig that I'm wearing. That is so much blush, but when it comes to drag makeup, more is more. We all know this. 
lipstick. Here we go. I'm going to give her... Uh, what is this? This is Regal. It's a red colour from the Black Radiance collection. This is a gorgeous colour. This is the same colour I'm wearing right now. It's not reading on my little webcam as red, but this is really red. Bigger. I want bigger. I'm going to give her full Chloe Belmont lips. There we go. I have painted a friend as per this week's challenge. So, everyone, meet your new Tuesday on the Queen Chat. I'm retiring. I can't, I can't possibly compete with this. And I know you wouldn't want me to compete with this. This is this face could go on to win awards. This has a beautiful career in front of it. I feel like I has been next to this face, so I'm, I'm just going to throw in the towel. Anyway, that's it from me this week. Hayley, I really hope you're not angry at me that I didn't take this challenge seriously. But uh, realistically, if you thought I was going to take it seriously, then you would just be kidding yourself, wouldn't you, darling? My name is Victoria Vogue, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.